What's good? What's good? <laughs> You saw, you saw, you saw. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Malik Baker, aka Baker TV, back at it with another video. So, you know, it's been a cool minute since I did a story time. And, you know, I'm just feeling it right now. I'm up right now, just chilling. Thinking like, you know what? I'm up now. I can't just be laying in my bed not doing nothing. So why not even just do another video? So about to tell you guys about the time where I got stranded in Las Vegas. Yes, Viva Las Vegas, y'all. I got stranded in Las Vegas. So I'm about to get ready to tell you guys what happened. So it all started when I was, uh, this all started basically when I was in 12th grade. And basically, this is senior year, around the first semester of it. And one weekend, it was uh, one weekend, and my mom was like, oh, your stepdad wants you to come work with him over at, um, in Vegas. Because, you know, he, 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 do, he has like a business, or he has like, he has a little business that he does out there. So he, my mom asked me if I wanted to work with him over the weekend, just make some money. I said, you know, why not? You know, I'm not really doing nothing this weekend. So I could just go over there for the weekend, just do that. So this is Friday, basically Friday evening around six o'clock. Uh, I headed over to downtown because we took I took one of those little cheap buses for like twenty five dollars to get to Vegas. You know that's cheap compared to like Greyhound or taking the bus, taking the plane or something. And I was like, why not? You know that's pretty cheap, twenty five dollars. You take the bus there. It's not going to really take long. It's going to take like six seven hours. So I got on the bus. The bus ride was cool. It was cool. the bus ride was pretty cool. You know, I was just chilling. I was next to some dude that was cool. It was like a couple weirdos in there, but I wasn't really tripping about it. And that's, I was just like, dang, like, I'm really on my way to Vegas. It's about to be cool. You know, my mom's checking up on me and see if I'm doing all right, everything else. And, you know, I'm doing fine and stuff. So then next thing you know, this is like middle of the trip. Like, close, no, this is not middle of the trip. So this is pretty much towards the end of heading to Vegas. Like, we're almost at Vegas, pretty much. Like, literally, it was, like, five, ten minutes away from the area, the destination you're supposed to get dropped off at. So, I get a, I get a call from my mom, and she's like, Malik, where you at? I'm like, we're just about to head to the spot. And then she was like, oh, uh, she's like, I don't know where you're going to stay at for, for the night. I'm like, what you mean? And then she said, my stepdad got arrested. And I'm like, What? Yeah, he got arrested and got taken to jail and I was on some random stuff. And I was just like, whoa, like, really? And then my mom was like, yeah, you know, she's like, she's mad. She basically was mad on the phone and I was still like, dang, like, for real. I mean, I was calm about it. I wasn't really tripping. And this is like about to be, I want to say midnight, pretty much. And she's telling me this. She's like, well, I need help figure out a place to stay at and this and that. And I was like, okay, you know what, uh, fine. And I'm like, my phone, this is the worst part. My phone was dying the whole time. My phone was at least like at 10%. And I'm like, I have to find a place to outlet ASAP. And I'm on the strip of the, the Vegas Strip, basically. And I'm just like, yo, I need to find a chart uh, freaking outlet ASAP because I can't do this right now. Because if I don't find an outlet, I'm going to be stuck. Pretty much, I'm going to be butt out and I can't connect, like, talk to anybody or nothing. And mind you, this is how I'm dressed up, y'all. Let me tell you how I'm dressed up. I had on a law oversized hoodie. Like, this was a large hoodie with some baggy sweats, dog. I look like a complete bum with a duffel bag and a backpack. I look like a complete bum outside the strip. Literally look like a homeless person over on the strip looking like I need an ice change or something. And it just, just didn't look right. So 
Luckily, well, we, we got dropped off at Bally's, and I looked all, all over Bally's. They didn't have no type of outlet, and I'm just like, dog, y'all ain't got no outlets. Are y'all serious? So I end up going to, I want to say, hmm, I want to say I end up going to, oh, I end up going to Caesar's Palace. There you go. I went to Caesar's Palace. And I look over in the outside area because Caesar's Palace, you have to be 21 and up in order to be over there. And mind you, I'm only 18 years old, so I could, really shouldn't have been over there. But I was like, you know what? They're not really going to trip or nothing, say nothing. So I end up going to Caesar's Palace and I found an outlet outside of Caesar's Palace. And I'm like, OK, cool. So, you know what? I charged my phone and it was charging. I was like, OK, perfect. I called my mom, told her, OK, I'm at Caesar's Palace. I found an outlet. I'm fine. I'm just outside chilling. She said, okay, well, um, she's like, she booked me a ticket to go back to LA on those little $25 bus rides the next morning. But the destination was at Circus Circus. So I was just like, okay, well, I had to figure this out. And mind you, this is how much money I had. And like literally how much money I had at this Vegas trip. I only had like about, I want to say like $20, $30, not much. I didn't really have much to go to, to basically just find a place to stay for the night or anything. Like, that's how much cash I had. Like, literally, that's how much cash I had. So, pretty much, I was there for, like, 15, 20 minutes. I called my girlfriend at the time and let her know what's going on. I'm stranded, this and that. She ended up falling asleep, so I was just like, whatever, you know. It is what it is. I call all my other friends and let them know what happened. It was like, dang, like this really just happened to you? I'm like, yes, bro, this really just happened to me, and I'm dead ass about it. So, <laughs> oh man, that shit's crazy. All right, so I'm back. So, next thing you know, the next, what, 30 minutes later? Yeah, 30 minutes later. Um, the, the security came, you know, the little bikes with the yellow shirts. The security came, it was like, hey, man, are you 21? I said, no, I'm not 21. It was like, oh, you can't be outside here. I was like, oh, my bad. I was just trying to charge my phone because I was, uh, str I'm stranded right now because I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to get back to L.A. the next morning. It's like, oh, okay. And I was like, this, and then I was like, okay, I got to go to Circus Circus because that's where I got to be at to hop on the bus back to L.A. So I asked them, like, does the taxi cab, do the cabs go to Circus Circus? They said yes. So I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I'm about to head over to Circus Circus right now. I'm about to take a taxi right now. Because this is when the time when Uber wasn't, like, Uber just kind of started, but Uber wasn't out in Vegas yet. It was in L.A., but not in Vegas. So I um, got in the taxi cab, and I headed over to basically the, um, I headed over basically to Circus Circus. So I get to Circus Circus, I got all my stuff, and you know, I just walked in, nobody really said nothing. Cause that's where my destination, like my uh, pickup like, area was at, to head back to LA at 8 a.m. And this is like three in the morning. So I'm just like, okay, I just gotta knock out three hours here, just three hours here, and I'll be straight. So I was just on the phone, I'm just chilling, talking to my friends, this and that. And I found, oh, before I even get to that, my fault. So I get there, I look for an outlet, I found an outlet real quick in the lobby area, it was right there, so it was cool. So I found a, a quick little, you know, outlet area. So I put my phone in the outlet, and I was just like, okay, doing my thing. I'm over here on the phone, you know, just like, talk to my mom. She was checking up on me, and I called my friends that was still up, and then we were still having a full conversation and all that. And I was just like, okay, cool. So we still have a full conversation and everything else. So then basically, this is like, I wanna say two hours later around five o'clock, I was getting hungry. I'm like, you know what? Let me get some breakfast to stay up. So I asked them, when does McDonald's open? They said six in the morning. So I said, okay, cool. I just gotta knock out one more hour and then I could get to McDonald's and give me a little, you know, some food to fill me up real quick. So, make, you know, it's like, what, it's like five-ish, like around, 4.45 to like 5 o'clock, I end up randomly passing out on the little like couch area of the lobby of Circus Circus, which is pretty big. So then next thing you know, this is the case. This is one of the most scariest parts of the whole trip to me. Next thing you know, this like this uh, 
this officer came. And I'm thinking, you know, this is like a police officer because they look like police officers, but they were security. So I thought this police officer, I woke up, like they, the lady woke me up, she was like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, huh? She's like, yeah. She's like, uh, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, uh, I'm here to, uh, you know, I was like, I'm here to, you know, get on my butt, to get on my bus at 8 a.m. She was like, you don't have a room here? I was like, no, like, literally, I was stranded. I, I was literally stranded. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Uh, all right, so I was just like, no, I was nervous. Cause I was like, oh, my God, please do not arrest me. Please don't do nothing. I told her basically, like, look, I'm supposed to meet my stepdad here, but he got arrested. So he got stranded. So I'm stranded with nowhere to go right now. My bus leaves at 8 a.m. I showed her my little confirmation ticket and everything. Like, I leave at 8 a.m. It says that I have to be here. So uh, this is why I'm here. And then she looked at it. She's like, oh, okay. And then she said, you just don't go to sleep. You can't sleep in the lobby. And I was like, okay, that makes sense then. So, mind you, this was like 5 in the morning, so I was like, okay, this is fine. I'm up now. I could just, I could just, you know, stay up and get ready for McDonald's and everything else. So, it was cool. She was cool about it, this and that. I told her everything. And then we went to McDonald's, uh, went to McDonald's at like 6 in the morning, went over there, got my McDonald's. I was cool. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I got my McDonald's. I'm feeling great. I'm like, perfect. I'm up. So I just had to knock out two more hours, which I did. It wasn't that bad. And pretty much my mom was still up with me, kind of. She was, like, going to sleep, waking up, just checking up on me. And literally, this was around 8 in the morning. I was up, made it to my bus. Bus came late, though. Made it to my bus. I got in the, um, got on the bus, and I knocked out instantly. Like, literally, I knocked out. I was like, thank God I'm on this bus. I could go to sleep everything else I don't have to worry about nothing else that's all I was just happy about that because that that was really it was really scary being stranded in Vegas literally I looked like a bum in Vegas a complete bum with a duffel bag and a backpack you you, you tell me you tell me I don't like a regular person like that that's a bum look and you know that's not good people probably thought i was a bum throughout that whole time when i was dressed up like that and i was like dang like this sucks you know i wasn't really thinking at the time because i was young i really didn't care how i dressed so i was glad i got back home around five in the afternoon and the next thing you know i get back to the house uh my stepdad called he was like yo um my bad they just released me this and that and then like they gave me a jaywalking ticket and i was like they got, they was like, he got arrested for jaywalking. I'm like, really? He got arrested for jaywalking? Are you serious? So I was just like, whatever. So then my mom picked me up, got home at like 5.30, literally went to my bed and knocked out for the rest of the night, rest of the whole day. I woke up around the next morning. I was really done. I was tired. My energy was dead because it's just like... I wasted six hours to just get there and just spend like a couple hours the whole night basically there, just just there. And that just sucks. So I'm like, dog, are you serious? Like I really just spent that whole day, my whole I spent my whole night basically up just wasting time traveling everywhere. Literally I was just traveling for no reason and I was just over it. I was like, this whatever. I'm glad it's over. So it's all good. I'm glad it's done. So, yeah, that's the end of the story. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe. You know, if you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everything. And, you know, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Baker TV, we are out.